basically okay. over every uh, position. But let me know when you're ready, and I'll start with a good press conference. Unless you just want to not slowly start talking. No, 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 no that's fine. I can do it like that. All right, so whenever you're ready. Let's just do a press conference because you can kind of hear us in the background. All right, whenever you're ready for it. Fabulous. Uh, did you make the PDF? No, I okay, did not. Well, what did you think about the team? I think the team has a very great turnout. I think with what we brought to tryouts and what we got out of tryouts, making the roster as complete as we can to compete for a championship this season, it's the best that it's looked since I've been a coach in baseball. What was the uh, hardest part about uh, making the decisions this year? It's just some of the guys that came out and – some of them, we just have to make close decisions on what we want to do with them. I mean, not everyone's going to make the cut, obviously, but the guys that did make it are all going to contribute in their own way for this team this season. Did you um, expect the turnout that came uh, this year? Yes, I expected nothing but great talent, great future pieces for this team, and whatever we can to do to build a championship, that's what I'm here for, and that's what I'm going to – Put on the field. Is the staff made? Is, 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 is the staff finalized yet? Yes, it is. The staff is finalized. Hold on a second, sir. Can you stop yelling, please? Thank you. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. No, the staff that I have with me is probably the best I could ask for. You know, I have a great group of guys that are going to be guys that are going to help oh, me. Man. Be the best manager that I could be in this league. I plan on being one of the best for many years. I have three members on my staff. I have a couple co-managers, so it, it makes my job a lot easier. So what about the pitching staff? <coughs> Has that been solidified? Do you have an ace yet? No, uh, we don't have an ace, but we do have a lot of great pitchers that okay. are going to compete with the A's, who I believe are. Th- Going into this year, probably the best pitching staff in the league, but we have a chance to compete with that there, going forward. Uh, wait, is, is there a rotation four or five? Uh, it's about a five man, I would say. Is yours going to be four or five, Duke? A lot of people made fun of you guys last year. You only went with a three man rotation, and then your starting pitcher broke his wrist. Can you explain the management behind that? Everything, Three's like as far as pitching, pitchers and catchers, you can never have enough of those. You always need a lot of those in case something were to go wrong or. Have to make a backup plan. So everything that's going to work out is going to work out in our favor. Do you have a um, uh, a time frame of how the first game is going to shape out uh, of, of starting pitcher? Or, or um, we're just going to sure. we're just going to go through camp, okay. go through practices in the winter, <clears throat> go through everything we need to go through to make this team compete. What what is the challenge of playing indoors on a Juliet game versus outdoors more of a uh, never mind. Uh what's the challenge? What, uh, how big is your cock? <laughs> no, that's all that that's all I is got. outdoor. So I mean as talk- far as the roster of who we have on paper, we have a lot of great talent. You know, some of the guys that we got are from different teams that played in the league before that were on the lower half of the t- skill level teams. That we just assembled together to make it the best team we could put forward. That was the team that you were on with Matt, right? Some of the guys that we have on the staff. So I'll name the guys that we have that are coming got over. It, got it. Got of course, it. we got Alec Leg, our our star shortstop and pitcher. Uh, he'll be changing to number twenty five this year instead of twenty four. Going back to his high school roots, right. I respect well, that tremendously. Uh, hold on, he's here. Can he give the mic? Just move the mic over. What was that about, Alec? Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, um, my number 25 is, I mean, I've had for a long time. That's been the number, you know, back in my roots. The only reason why I went 24 last year is because 
as you remember, my my puppy Ozzy that meant a lot to me. He actually passed away on February fourth, two four. So I I kind of went with twenty four last year and and to honor him in his memory, you know, just something because he I was I went through it a little bit with that, you know. I don't mean to get uh you know all uh, teary eyed on the show here, but oh, I thought it was for Kobe. No, but uh yeah, so I'm back to twenty five this year. That's always been my number back to my high school days, and okay. but uh you know we'll be ready to roll. Good. Okay. Dude, so shortstop, first, first, first uh, uh, pitcher, and shortstop is Alec Lag. Yep. Alec Lagg. Okay. And um, obviously, we're gonna keep Dan and Ivan Salazar, who are other co-managers on the team as well. Um, okay. They're both great people to keep around a baseball organization. You know, they bring a lot of value and talent to the field. And this is my third year of coaching Ivan. He's been a joy and a pleasure to coach. You know, he's one of the best players that I've seen play baseball because he's constantly in his groove, always plays his best when the when it matters most. You know, I've coached Alec for three years. Yeah. You know, it has been a it's been an honor and a pleasure. You know, I can enjoy to continue to coach him every game I have him out there. You know, we always bring the best out of each other. You know, as a manager, he brings the best out of me. And as a player, I hope I bring the best out of him each and every game because if I'm not doing that, I'm not doing my job. I don't consider that doing my job if I don't do that for you. And mm-hmm. I'm honored to keep doing this, and I hope it continues going forward because it means a lot to me. You got – so you got him at first. You've got pitcher. And then, oh, wait, no, excuse me, shortstop. Yeah. Salazar. Uh, so Ivan. Yeah. Uh, catcher. Yep. Yeah. And what about the other guy? Uh, Father Dan. Uh, he's been in the uh, South Shore Adult Baseball League for many, many years. Okay. He's played baseball pretty much his whole life. He plays in the older division, the 38 and over. You know, he's a Yankee in that. You know, I'm not a huge fan of the pinstripes. I'll say that myself. But they say they make people <coughs> But I am. Thinner. Well, yes, I do agree with that. And he is in phenomenal shape for his age. Okay. You know, but I'll you accept I'll there. accept the pinstripe just for Dan. So Man, okay. Dan, you know I love you. I'm gonna respect the pinstripe for you. Hey Dan. So who else we kept over from the summer league with the Orioles was Brian Garcia, who was an infielder, right fielder, who has a ton of potential. I love what he brings as far as the 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 dugout, you know, his energy on the field, everything he brings is gonna is a positive positive reinforcements for us his work ethic his work ethic is phenomenal he's going to continue to be a big key piece for us for many years moving forward you know we got justin stoner who is an infielder and a bullpen pitcher who i've co- this is my second year of coaching him in baseball you know he's he works hard puts a lot of hard work into the sport has a he's a very positive man in the dugout who has his great moments, but also has room for improvement. We all do, even as us players and managers. I'd like to step in and just say something about Stone. Um, I mean, I think that Stoner represents everybody. We any the type of Stoners overall, like me and that people. Stoner represents everything you would want on a player on your baseball team. I think the his positive. Um, his attitude, his determination, his mindset, always to be to want to be great, always want to get better every day, improve. He puts in the hard work and puts in the time. Um, those are the kind of guys you want, I believe. You know, I call them locker room guys. That's that's the type of guys you want on your team. That's yes, why I want to sure. want to say that about Justin. Yep, he really embodies the Cardinal spirit. Yes, Cardinal he does. Cult, uh, CC Cardinal Cole. A lot of comp- Yep. <coughs> And then we have our we have our star first baseman Cameron Lake who Ooh, that's the he's the superstar, right? He is the best defensive first baseman in all of the Nabba League. I I will they say that I will defend that. He is the best defensive first baseman in this baseball league. It's not close. Okay. I don't know if I I, I like the guy on the A's. I think he can compete. I, I don't. I think. Oh, out. I mean, the if you if you if you don't play, I mean, going to that point. I mean, 
you got to coach like you're on the hot seat. Even if you are one of the best ever do it, you have to do that because then you're not doing your job. You're, you're, comfortable. you're getting way too comfortable and you're being complacent. This is my livelihood. Managing this team means so much to me. I like that. And I, like that. I will do whatever I can to make sure that this is not a failure. I, fucking, I, I, I will make sure of that. Man, I take a lot of pride in this. No, and that's what I, it reflects bad on me if that's the case. Who's the other staff I gotta put? Who's the other staffers? Dan Salazar. Dan and Salazar, Salazar and, and then Duke and, and then me. Okay, what was the Salazar? Josh DeGrowey. Nice to see Duke wearing something Did other than basketball. Dan Salazar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go to Josh DeGrowey, who's left over from the Orioles that we're bringing along this year. You know, he. Our twenty twenty two. So Duke really, this is a this is a step up for. Um, yeah. This is a big step for me. This is my first management position in baseball, and I'm very happy to have it. Dude, I don't think, honestly, there's nobody better than you because you would really, you know, if Alec, you know, and the team is, I appreciate that. is warming up, they can put you out there. Like, yeah. To just but as far as my star first baseman. And start planting it, you know? <laughs> but, uh, you know, we got a lot of t guys, but we're going to go into Josh DeGrawi. He was left. He is coming back from the Orioles. We're bringing him along with the Cardinals this year. Okay, how come? We know he feels like he's gotten a lot better. You know, from day one of last year till now, it's a dramatic improvement on his part. Got it. I believe with him and another family member of his that's on the team, Brian DeGrawi, I think, what is it, Alec? It's uncle-nephew relationship that they have? Okay. I was making sure. I didn't want to mess that up. No worries. Why? But, uh... They both have improved, you know, from last year to this year. They're going to be a huge key piece to us going forward as far as the developmental side mm -hmm. of their play and what they're going to bring as far as positive results on the field. So, but there's a lot of new guys mixed into this that we feel like are going to blend in and fit perfectly with us. I mean, are they going to blend in too well, though, in a camouflage state where we don't notice them? No, they'll definitely be noticed. Okay. Oh, this, right. I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have been in this position if I didn't feel like we could compete for a championship. That is my ultimate mindset every time yeah, in sports. question. Why did you take this role? Because I want to win a championship. I want to prove... This is the best team that gives you that. Yes, this is the best team that's going to give me that chance. And what did your dad or the family say when you made this move? Um, this too much. No, I can get into that. I mean, my family was very supportive of it. I mean, they saw from last year how I was sad after the fall ball championship game. They saw how that broke me, and that's fair. They never want to see that out of me again because they knew how bad I felt. You know, even though I was at a Assistant manager slash bench goes last year. Mm -hmm. I still felt like I let my guys down. Is that what led to you working at Sam's Club? <laughs> I don't know if that was. Joking. No, I don't. <laughs> that, that's got to go on. That's, so that, that is a story that happened during the season towards the beginning of the season. But what drove me away from that place was the opportunity to, to work here and Develop my work skills outside of retail, oh and honestly, I would never go back to it. Okay. But as far as the management position in baseball, I took this job because you know we all thought of this Cardinals idea together. Mm -hmm. I mean, we what thought of it you, as. What were you eating though when you guys were thinking of this? What Jimmy I think it might have been Mama's homemade chili. Yeah, no, no, it was not that. I don't bring that here. Why not? Uh, no. Wait. Who is my, wait. Mine. Why? But is it good? Oh, it's the best you'll ever have in the region, Dave. But the region, region chili, region chili. Oh, but uh, okay, what do you got? when I took this and we developed this idea, it was the perfect opportunity because after I actually took a job offer. To be an assistant manager bench coach role in Tenley. Hmm. Before really? I accept, yeah. I, didn't know that. I was getting ready to move on from NABA. I know I've had enough. Huh. I got driven away from it, but when we made this idea up to be the Cardinals, sure. it made me feel tremendous. Okay. And I said, you know what? I'm going to take this. 
you know, because this is my chance to prove myself. Sure. And I want it. Um, I feel like there's the roster good enough to be up in the championship game. I do believe that with the, all my might. How many teams are in this league again? Ten. And there's eight games or six? There's no, 12. There's what, L, 18 games? Yeah. 18 games. Okay. And, uh, you know, obviously we have a big goal of what our regular season record, how many wins we want to be around. Mm-hmm. You know, I know for hash mark show terms, I'm going to do this for you, Dave. I know you like to do it over, under a certain yeah. number. Yeah, I will. let's hear it. What do we got? I'm going to go. Over, under wins, season total for the cards right now. What is I it? am going to go out there and put over 13 and a half. Okay. I'm going to do that right. because I. I'm going, I'm going to go, oh, wow. How many games are there? 18. 18. Okay. Okay. And I want to do that because I know that there's pressure to be put on the team and myself, but regular season numbers are just numbers. Sure. What matters is how we do come August, September. Yes. That is what's going to matter. Are we going to be in the championship game? Are we going to be playing our best ball in the playoffs? Which, without a doubt, I believe that. 1,000%. One thousand percent. What are the some of the challenges you see with this team this year? Honestly, it's believe not getting too comfortable with how talented we really are. Because we could be thinking that we're going to go on this hot streak right away when the season starts, sure. and then be humbled after one game. Yeah. We don't want that. No. We want to be have the same confidence level. And same awareness every game that we're out there. Yep. So if we do that, I feel like we'll be in great shape. Real quick, where did you send the uh, thing to? The roster? Yeah. Let's see your email. Oh, my email. <coughs> what other questions you got? Um, what's the plan for the pitching staff and, and, and really – Monitoring, you know, the minutes. If you if you're really gonna go with that four man rotation with 18 games, and then is there playoffs? Yes, there is. So how are you gonna? You just you know, just communicate with the staff. And yeah, that, that's just how it goes. Are you, are you guys putting numbers on on these guys in the games or no? Pitching uh, counts or you know this guy? You know, Alex only pitching. You know, 35 balls today. Actually, we have a good enough pitching rotation to where he might not do that as much. Okay. We might just focus him at being a shortstop because... What's the, t- what's the top speed of uh, these pitchers? Oh, jeez. Oh, and you right now. Come here. Fill this out. This um, if I had to pick one, okay. as far as numbers, one of them's maybe low 80s, okay. I would say. You know, as far as the pitching and how we're going to evaluate it, it's just all going to be through camp. Sure. It's going to be like, how can we go forward with picking the best four or five guy rotation? Mm-hmm. The thing is, when it comes to having a p- great pitching, is you got to be in constant communication. When I first took the baseball coaching jobs and positions, yeah. I uh, I was a pitching coach. That was my first one. You were? Where was that at? Here? Yeah, it was the Crown Point League. It wasn't in okay. where I am now. Got it. But I actually, that's where I met Ivan. Okay. And that's where I first coached Alec. I would do I'll, I'll I would call pitches through the fence for oh. another manager that manages in the Napoli that we're in now. Talk to me about the signs. These guys who used to be in the team. Are you changing signs? Same signs, just different count night? Uh, no, oh. I would say so, yes. I mean, I'm not going to go into too much detail with it, but everything can has I, changed. Can I give you guys a, a sign to use this year or no? Like, I've never done signs in my life. I mean, you okay. can give me an idea. We'll call it the Evergreen. Oh, the Evergreen? Okay. <laughs> and I don't know how you roll out a play like that in baseball. Uh, <laughs> it's confusing. I wouldn't know how to do that either. But The EG? Like the EG. I like that. I do like that. So when okay. you do those calls, though, you can do that call multiple times, but how do you signal if it's the first or the second thing? There's just a sign that signifies what you're doing? You do that multiple times. Okay. Okay. Or Got once it. if it's that's what it is. Got it. Okay. But um, when it comes to uh, we're just gonna say the cup went to the other yard. But uh, well, you know they love when we uh, out there. Hopefully, 
whole lot of sacks. One of the managers oh, that uh, manages in the league that we're in, you know, I worked under him my first year, and it gave me a great exposure to what coaching in baseball is like. So I do thank him for giving me the opportunity, allowing me to give me the opportunity. You know, I wouldn't be where I am now without him. And Matt, Got you it. know. Matt, yeah. I mean, yes, there was ups and downs. I'll speak on this right now, and I know Alec can vouch for it. There's always going to be up and downs in sports. <clears throat> You're never going to always have 100% belief in what you believe in and, are, and when it comes down to the analytics and all the major things in sports, but you're all there for one common goal, and uh, everyone thinks of things a different way. So my job is to make sure that I show the best version of myself. Are you going to make everybody line up uh, after the game and shake hands? Or is well, it- yeah, of course. You know, you got to do that. It's. I don't know if that's something you guys do in the league or not. Yeah, it is. It's what I think is right. That yeah, that's going to have to need to go on there. You know, I don't know where that right, came well, from. So, all right, Duke, so for your first game, we don't know if it's real, but we're going to get – this will be a team bat for you guys. Uh, this will be the Yogi Berra bat. We'll just put this over here. It needs to be the Johnny Bench bat. They can't see it. Yeah, you want the bench. He wants the bench, man. All right, well, uh, anything else that you guys have to say – or, excuse me, you have to say for everybody listening right now, no buddy ball episode two um, – we look hey, forward. Have we named the final? Have we named the final roster here yet? Can yeah, just, just go do, through just it. Just go down the whole list. Yeah, go down the list. All right, we're gonna go down the whole list. Name positions, numbers. We're gonna do the whole list now. Alex, Alex filling <coughs> it out right now to put on the website, and, and they would have already seen this. Yeah, the but game. we're gonna, but we have to improvise. Okay, Marsha Brady, Bill Clinton. Oh, that's the wrong list. Okay. <laughs> that's a list that Tony made up, probably. Hey, you fucking Marsha. Hey, let me say something about Fucking Cardinals for the series. We appreciate that, Tony, for sure. Um, so we got Alec Lake, who's shortstop and pitcher. Dan Salazar, number twenty. Want to do the numbers too? Alec Lake. Yeah, well. Well, we, okay, fine. Number twenty-five. We got Alec Lake, who's a shortstop pitcher. We're gonna act like that didn't happen. Number thirty-three, Dan Salazar. You know, DH, pitcher, third base, first base. Number catcher? F- catcher? Oh, it's not on there. Uh, wow. You know, he didn't, he, he, he didn't put that on there, so I can't say that because it wasn't on his link. Damn. I went off the list. Damn. Yeah, I went off the list that was given to me. Oh, Matt. Matt would have had this done right. No. Anyways. Oh, I got a trophy number- for uh, your league, by the way. You got one. Go ahead. We have number 45, Ivan Salazar. Ooh. Did he come off the, the minority bus? No, he, he came off the all-star bus. He wasn't dropped off the bottom. No, Ivan was a DH catcher, first base, third base. Okay. Mitch Finnegan, who is a outfielder, mainly a center fielder, number six. Mitchie okay. Finn? Yep. We got number three, Antonio... How do you pronounce his last name, El? Antonio Gonzalez. Sorry about that. Yeah, sorry, Antonio. Banderas. Your name is hard to pronounce. Yes, it is. Antonio Banderas. He's a stud, though. Yes. Antonio he is a AB. stud. AB. He is a. He AB. plays pretty much AB. all the infield, and he's a pitcher as well. Ooh. We got number 17, Tyler Schoonover. Not oh, relation to Schoonover? <laughs> the real one? No. <laughs> Who was Tyler playing? He's an infield pitcher, outfielder. We got number two, we got Brett Thomas, who is a center field second baseman. Is he Alex also looking forward to seeing how he produces on the field. Is he related to Frank Thomas? No, he is not. He was a childhood friend of mine. Oh, Frank Thomas? No, no. Brett. Uh, no, Frank Thomas. Number 19. Number 19, Brian Garcia, we got. Oh, okay. He plays infield, outfield, and pitches a little bit. Brian Garcia, great pickup, a guy at the end yes. we're looking at. No, sorry, I turned it. <laughs> that was the ESPN uh, recap. Of okay. We got number 11, Justin Stoner. Ooh, that's my favorite player. Can I get that jersey? Hey, <laughs> sight, we'll be able to get you Can't special you. orders of players that wait, you would need. Wait, real quick. I got to say that. 
His merch is going to be by far the best. It's probably going to be the number one seller. Every time he's Everyone's going to want that. The only bag you will have in his hand is a big joint. <laughs> he don't smoke. That's the thing. Oh, this will be out of it. This is All a right. We got Justin Stoner, who is a DH first base, third base, and he's a re reliever pitcher. What's his number? Number 11. He's wearing oh. sticks. Okay. Somebody had too many beans this morning. I haven't eaten yet. Too many M&Ms. Yeah, too many M&Ms. We got number 31. We got Tucker Smith, who is a outfielder, infielder, and a relief pitcher. Okay. This is his second year in the NABA League. Okay. So hopefully there's a much better season coming forward for him. Sure. Alex, very optimistic. We got number 20, star first baseman Cameron Lake. Do you want me to air those when you say he's optimistic? Or Yes, absolutely. Wow. Uh, Cam Lake. This team does not sound like a 14 team win. Oh, it's going to be a 14 team win. I, I have, uh, but <laughs> we cannot take right. the under. I but uh, <laughs> we got Cam, who plays first base and pitcher. Okay. Number 21, we have Christian Munez. Okay. A new face to the Cardinals. Welcome. Ooh. He plays infield. Okay. We got number 14, CJ Hardy. Okay. Who we have very high hopes for and brings a lot to this team. We're very excited to have him on. Congrats, buddy, for making the Cardinals. Wow, that's big news. Uh, he plays infield, he's a catcher, and is a pitcher as well. Are birth certificates required for this team? No, it is not. Okay. Number 22, we got Josh DeGrawi, who plays outfield and, and catches a little bit, so you can never have enough catchers. No, I agree with that. We got a father-son, another pair in here as well. Number four, CJ Flores, okay. who is a first baseman. And then we have Carlos Flores, who's a second baseman, pitcher, and catcher. That's so, the roster? No, we got more. Okay. It's still going, so don't get your hopes up yet. I'm not. Dude, Wait. I hope you spelled all these fucking names right. Well, I did, because they came. That's what I read off the list. All right, so, who's, who's next here? Number 15, we have Darion Edmond, who is a infielder, outfielder, and a pitcher. There's a lot of multi-skilled players that are on this roster. Yeah, it's what we were lacking last year. <laughs> you, you needed that flexibility. Yes, we did. We have number nine, Michael Nelson, who is a pitcher, third base, and first base. He's actually from the Mariners in our league. We acquired him in the offseason. Very good pickup. We're very excited to have him. How did that happen? He just came to the tryout and was looking for a new squad, and okay. we're happy to have him. Good. We got two brothers. Again, on wow. this roster, a lot of brothers. we got Brett Zima and Kyle Zima. Okay. Who Brett is a outfielder, first base, and we have Kyle, who's an infielder. Nice. Kyle is number twenty-eight this year. Brett has yet to give a number yet. Mm. So that is TBD at the moment. We have to get that information. I heard he was a Carlos Zambrano fan and won in thirty-eight. <laughs> That actually is available, so... Ooh, hey! We'll see what happens with that. Give me that number, I'll take it. <laughs> I want 84. <laughs> that is available. We got Tyler Anderson, Tyler Anderson, who's wearing number 23. Tim Anderson? Is it son? <laughs> no, we, he's an outfielder and catcher. We got Josh Bader, number 34, who is a outfielder and a pitcher who... Came out and had a very good tryout. We're very excited to have him here. Also yeah. plays first base. Yes, and he also plays first base. So he is multi-skilled. Mm. One of many. Did you guys make cuts or not? We did, one? yes. How many people did you cut? One? We cut about five or six people. Yeah. I feel like you've named a lot more than the rosters are allowed to have. No, we're allowed to No, we're allowed to have 25. So we wow. we took on the opportunity to make it a 25-man oh roster. My God. Yep. Is that an uh, MLB roster? Or what, or, <laughs> how, how many people are allowed in MLB rosters? The active, I believe, is a 26, and it's wow. a 40 man total. Yeah, it's a 40 man total. There's like 25, 26 that can be in the majors. Yep. IR spot, or what do they call it? We got two more, so hold up. Hold your horses. We have number seven, Jeremy Ortiz. Another multi skilled infield, outfield pitcher, and catcher. And last but not least, number 88, Brian DeGrawi. Mm. Who plays second base? He's had a very good offseason. Best walk-up song in the league. That's the, the best walk-up song in the league. That is never changing, buddy, by the way. So I hope you know that. 
Oh, nice. Yes, it's great. Right. Solo sax. But what were you gonna say? Uh, I can't say. I don't know. I can't say. Just like uh, Dave likes a little solo sax. I'm a big sax guy. <laughs> <laughs> I like, uh, Dave Cos is my a big Dave Cos guy. Well, my God. Dave Cos. No. What? Tony loves the over. Yeah, Tony loves the over. I mean, the Tony's you know, my I, new favorite guest. I like uh, I like Dave's fucking mom too. Fat ass. <sighs> Shut up, you fucking dickhead. <laughs> Tony, that's you like them older, older ones, don't you, Tony? I heard you talking about fucking white cat shows earlier. The ring scene. We should put your fucking small cock to the chicken ring first and eat it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Get him out of here. This is PG Tony. Bye, no, Tony. No, no, Tony. We uh. Shoot his mic. We're always welcome to have you, Tony. Yeah, he's, he's not happy right now. <laughs> he's pissed because we didn't bring in donuts. Tony was supposed to bring him in. I know. What a dickhead. <laughs> so why are you pissed that he didn't bring in your own donuts? Look, you know, he was late. You got to be there at 7 for the angel hair. Angel cream. Cream. <laughs> I like to come. Uh -huh. I come in my donuts and then eat them. Okay. All right, Duke, any final thoughts on this upcoming season? We'll end this um, just stay tuned for it. It's going to be a great season. We're very excited to go with this roster. You know, we're it's been a long time coming, and it's getting closer and closer to opening day, and I'm looking forward to every minute of every second of this journey. All right. Alec, anything to add here or no? You good? All right. Nice job. Congratulations, and uh, good luck this season.